8 million tonnes of plastic leaking into the ocean every year, 11.1 billion plastic pieces suffocating coral reefs, more plastic than fish in the ocean by 2050, more than 1 million seabirds and 100,000 marine animals die from plastic pollution every year, baby sea turtle stomachs are full of harmful plastic, there's no shortage of alarming plastic statistics. Just look at that baby sea turtle, you want to clean up its toxic environment, don't you? Watch all the way until the end of the video if you want to know a way that you can help clear our oceans of harmful plastics. Marine pollution is a combination of chemicals and trash, most of which comes from land sources and is often blown into the ocean and other waterways. This pollution results in damage to the environment, to the health of all organisms and leads to societal and environmental injustices. Items like plastic bags, discarded fishing line and balloon strings are highly lethal to marine animals, who swim through them and become entangled. Turtles, seabirds and even dolphins get caught in these plastic traps. If they cannot swim and reach the surface, mammals that rely on regular breaths of air will eventually drown. For others, the plastic strings may choke them or cut off circulation to their limbs. Did you know that half of all seabirds and turtles have plastic in their stomachs? Turtles mistake plastic bags for jellyfish. Seabirds feed plastic pieces to their babies. Whales often scoop up plastic along with the plankton that they eat. Once ingested, sharp plastic pieces can cause internal injuries, or the plastic builds up in their stomachs until they can't even digest food. These animals will then slowly die from starvation. We know that marine life are eating more and more plastic every single year. Ocean trash is often broken into smaller pieces from sun exposure and the motion of the ocean, after which it can find its way into the food chain. When it eventually degrades, which takes around 400 years for most plastic, the process releases chemicals that further contaminate the sea. Plastics once in the ocean are known to absorb a range of hazardous chemicals. Toxins accumulate onto plastic debris and are eventually ingested by marine life, poisoning them in the process. We rely on the ocean to regulate our climate, absorb CO2, and it is the number one source for protein for over a billion people worldwide. However, at the rate we are polluting the ocean, the damage we are doing to marine life and our ecosystem is becoming irreparable. The problem of plastic pollution developed within our lifetimes, with the rapid increase of single-use plastics. The world produces 381 million tonnes of plastic waste yearly. This is set to double by 2034, and 50% of this is single-use plastic and only 9% has ever been recycled. Improperly disposed of plastic ends up in marine ecosystems, where it not only threatens the livelihoods of those who depend on marine resources for work, it can lead to a raft of health issues for people who consume seafood infested with toxic micro and nanoplastics. Did you know that with each load of laundry, more than 700,000 synthetic microfibers are washed into our waterways? Unlike natural materials such as cotton or wool, these plasticized fibers do not break down. One study even showed that synthetic microfibers make up as much as 85% of all beach trash. The challenge of plastic waste is a major part of the global pollution crisis. The impact from plastic pollution is having a major environmental impact. There are currently over 400 dead zones in our oceans, which means that these areas can no longer produce adequate oxygenation for marine life. In 2017, the largest dead zone was found in the Gulf of Mexico. A decade ago, the number of dead zones were half that number, and they're only expected to continue growing. Our actions over the next 10 years will determine the state of the ocean for the next 10,000 years. Just let that sink in for a second. Plastic pollution also has major societal and health implications that can affect millions worldwide. Discriminatory environmental policies lead to environmental injustices, which are often linked to plastic production. Just some examples of this are deforestation for road building, displacing indigenous people to conduct oil drilling, as well as contamination of potable water by fracking operations to extract natural gas. The impacts of plastics on marginalised populations are often severe, 
and exist at all stages of the production cycle, from extracting raw materials and manufacturing through to consumption and disposal. Plastic waste not only endangers the livelihood of those relying on marine resources, it also causes a raft of health issues for people who consume seafood infested with toxic micro and nanoplastics from plastic pollution. Women also suffer from an increased plastic-related toxicity risk due to higher exposure to plastics in feminine care products. Differences in gender, social roles and political power in regulating plastic use and health standards also place women at a high risk of miscarriages and cancer. Worsened by the COVID-19 pandemic, plastic waste has become a major part of the global pollution crisis. Indigenous people as well as people from low-income and rural communities who depend on wild seafood for their diet face greater risks from ocean plastics, which can be a million times more concentrated with chemicals than surrounding water. One in three fish caught for human consumption contain plastic. But it's important to remember that pollution is a social issue because it is caused by human behaviours and because it not only has a negative effect on the planet, but also on people and society. The truth is, the expansion of plastics has been so rapid that the Earth can't adapt to the toxic environment we've created. The effects are so wide-reaching that it affects the regenerating potential of the natural world, and resources will be so hard to come by that we'll wonder why we didn't do something sooner. To save our planetary resources, we have to get plastic out of our environment. These are just some of the implications from polluting our waterways. As you can see, the effect is wide-reaching and affects everything from marine life, our environment, to a large societal impact. It literally affects everyone. As horrible as ocean pollution is, what we can't see may actually be worse. 70% of trash in the ocean actually sinks to the sea floor, meaning we're unlikely to ever be able to clean it up. So, if you want to reduce the impact pollution has on our oceans, here's how you can get involved. Team Seas is a global campaign to raise $30 million to remove 30 million pounds of plastic and trash from our oceans, rivers and beaches. One pound of trash will be removed for every dollar raised. This is a great way for everyone to get involved and make a genuine difference to our planet. 100% of the money we raise goes directly to Ocean Conservancy and the Ocean Cleanup. Fortunately, it's not too late to clean up our act. Share the dirty truth about ocean pollution and help make a difference. To help us clean up the ocean, go to teamseas.org.